guys welcome back if this is your first time of being here thank you and welcome to my channel i am madame blunt and this channel is all about helping ladies live healthier happier sexier and of course stronger lives so make sure you hit the subscribe button before you leave this channel thank you again all right let's get straight to it you see the thing about workouts if you are working out and the workouts are not working out for you it discourages you from working out that's too much workouts in one sentence but anyway what i'm trying to say is this you see the way you do exercises actually um, determine the kind of results you get from those exercises and most times the common mistake we make is that we don't we always focus on speed rather than form so today i'm going to be talking about four okay let's make that five five very popular stomach exercises that you might have been doing wrong okay so i'm going to start with the first one the popular one sit-ups there are four common mistakes people make with the sit-ups. Number one, they grab their head when they are pulling themselves up. They depend on their hands, their palms to be specific, to pull themselves off the ground. So you see people doing this during sit-ups. That is very wrong and might hurt your neck and your head. In fact, if you're not careful, you will realize you're doing sit-ups and you're having headaches because you are putting too much pressure on your head. When you are sitting up, you are supposed to sit up with your shoulders, like you're supposed to use your shoulders to come up. Let your shoulder propel the entire body to stand up. Do you understand? To sit up, I mean. So this is what is actually advisable. You don't even need to place your palms beneath your head. It's either you place them lightly by your ears or you just cross them over your chest but this is it so and then when you want to raise up don't use your head to jack use your shoulders to jack up so this is what you do you see what i did my head is stable i'm not moving it forward backwards up down what did i just do i'm not moving it down up side to side i leave it stable and then i bring myself up from the shoulders and down shoulders and down now i want you to do these two um these two variations i just did now do the first wrong one then do the right one you will notice that when you're jacking yourself you are feeling less pressure on the abs and more on your neck and head but when you cross your arms or place them lightly by your ears and pull yourself up by the shoulders you will feel more pressure and more contraction on the abs which is what you actually need the number two mistake people make with sit-ups is they actually jerk their body up from the ground and then when they are going down they slam their back down now this can also cause you back pain and you're trying to get flat up not develop back problems so if you're doing this try to actually roll up so in most of my exercises most of my workout routines i won't say sit-ups i'll actually say roll up because that's basically when you, what you do when you're coming off the ground. You roll up. So this is me. Standard roll up. You start with your shoulder. Then upper back. Then um, middle back. Lower back. And then you're up. When you're going down, you start from the lower back. To the middle back. To the upper back. And you're down. So you roll up and you roll down. So it looks like this. You roll, roll, roll and uncoil down roll up and down that's number two mistake that's how to fix number two mistake number three mistake is the puffing out of the stomach when you're coming up so you see people when they are coming up you see the stomach goes you see what my stomach is doing and then relax it when they go down but it's actually supposed to be the other way around because when you're coming up now don't get me wrong your stomach is not even supposed to puff out at all but if it's going to puff out it should be when you are relaxing because the sit up is at its highest peak when you are sitting up that is when you feel the most pain okay so when in any exercise you're doing you're supposed to exhale in the highest pressure point Do you understand i don't know what english to use again so let's call it pressure point so the the place you feel the highest pain the highest pressure the highest stress that is when you exhale. So when you are doing sit-ups, when you are sitting up, it's actually where you are feeling more pressure. That is when you exhale. So this is me. I'm going to do this. Now, when I want to sit up, it's hard. 
but you can do it. Try to exhale, remove, take out all the air, push them out, blow them out, tighten your stomach, and then slowly stand up. And then when you're going down, you can now inhale and relax. But if you go, you puff, it, puff your stomach out, and then do this, you are going to end up actually having a pouch and not the kind you put money in. And that is not what you are aiming for. So when you are coming up, first of all, don't rush sit up. If you're going to do sit up, do not rush the workout. Slowly roll down, exhale, tuck in, push, pull, and engage the core as hard as you can, and then sit up. Go down and relax. So and relax. It's actually more painful. Now, the final thing I will say about sit up is this. If you have a big stomach, or you are trying to lose lots of weight, or you are a new mom, sit ups are not for you. Sit ups actually work with giving six packs, or toning the ab, or firming it up. So, if you want to lose weight in the abs, you want to have flat tummy, don't start with sit ups. Do other workouts, eat right, of course, do lots of cardio, eat right again. Then, when your stomach is now flat, maybe you want to firm it up or you want to have six packs, then, only then, can you start doing sit-ups. If you have a big stomach and you sit-up, you, you will realize that you are having, if you do it constantly, you will start seeing a line here, and it's not sexy at all. It's not a very fine line. Just see one, like if you have just two packs. That because of you're actually trying to firm up a very big lump of fat, which is something you're not supposed to do. Okay? All right. Good. Number two, let's do the leg raises. Now, the leg raises, the common mistakes I see with this, this is the leg raises, this. Okay? Now, before I do it well, the common mistakes, the common mistake just one I see is because of the pressure the legs put on the body when it's coming down you are tempted to arch your back so you arch I see people arch their back when the legs start going down but when it's coming up the back is straight however to do this workout well your back is always supposed to be in contact with your mat when it's up, when the leg is up, when the legs are down, they are still your back is still supposed to be in contact with your mat. So how do you fix this problem? First of all, come to this position I'm staying right now. Then push your lower abs into the floor. So like you're pushing your lower back into the floor. Tuck your pelvis under, okay? So that way it also means you're tucking your glutes under, your tailbone under. So you see what I did? Okay. You see this? Just do this and relax. You see this? Relax, tuck everything under, zip everything up, then raise your legs. Mm? When you're lowering it, pay attention to the pressure on your lower back. If it becomes too much and your back starts arching, it means your legs should stop descending. It's just as easy as that. So this is it. If this is where your legs get to and your back starts arching, it means stop and bring the legs back. With consistency, you will see that your legs... We, got, we start lowering, we start going lower. Do you understand? You'll be able to hold your abs in and hold the back into the mat as the legs descend with consistency. But for starters, pay attention to your back, to the lower back. As long as it's in contact with the mat, you're fine. So lower, low, and make sure you're zipped up. Lower, 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 lower. And you see, you still zipped up, then bring it up. For now, this is how low my legs could go if i take it lower than that oh look at that i can't can, can take it lower but it's too much pressure on me you see how i was training and talking so make sure you pay attention to how low your legs can go before they start arching your back for you because what we are trying to avoid again is an arched back if you are doing that it means you're working out your back and i'm sure that was not your aim you want to work out your abs and not your back and not only that can even give you pain and again like i said the aim is flat abs not back problems so that's number two workout number three plank this plank on so many occasions the common mistakes i see people do on many occasions is this arching their abs arching the i'm uh, sorry arching the hips 
Now you cannot stab your hips, you cannot stab your back when you're doing plank. You will feel the strain on your lower back and plank is a great total body workout with focus on your core. So to get the most out of this workout, then do it well. If you think you can do plank and you've been doing it in the wrong way, maybe you can probably go for 1 minute or 1.30 seconds, 1.30 minutes. Maybe because you are doing it wrong. If you learn the good form, you will say it cannot even last for 30 seconds. For starters, when you start doing it well. So first of all, is make sure your elbows are in line with your shoulders, okay? They should go straight forward or backward, just underneath the shoulder. That's the first thing. Now you can either place your palms against the floor like this, or you can just go on your fist. Anyone. This, I prefer doing this, okay? Then your legs. You are going to put the weight on the balls of your feet, okay? Here, so below your toes, underneath your toes, that, that's the ball of your feet. So do this. Bring them together as close as possible. Don't open them wide. And then just raise. Now you see what I did? I am not sagging. That is when you feel pain on your lower back. Just raise. Now this is the first step, okay? This is planking. If you want, if you now want to feel more intensity, you want the plank to connect with the abs. You want your deeper core muscles to be well worked. This is what you do. You bring yourself up and then just a tiny, weeny little crunch. Push, zip everything up. Sis, bro, if you do this like this, you won't be able to last. If you normally last, let's say, one minute before, this, you feel so much intensity. By the time you get to 30 seconds, you're going to be vibrating like this. So let's do that again. Elbows to shoulders in line. Legs close together. If you are advanced, Close them more, let them touch each other. If not, just separate them a little, okay? And then lift up the floor and then talk to zip. And they stay as long as you've conditioned yourself to stay. Okay, now our number fourth exercise is the let's do the abs bites first, okay? Now I won't spend so much time on the abs bites because same rule applies. Make sure the entire back is in contact with the mat, and then again, do not jack your head off the floor. You are lifting yourself by your shoulders. So place your two hands by your ears and just try to connect with the opposite knee. Do you understand? See, so don't do like this. Uh uh, you're going to enjoy yourself, and that's not the aim. So lightly here, and then do this. This this you can even go like this this is another way to do it just to make sure you are not lifting yourself off the floor by your palms you're using your shoulders to lift okay if at the start your elbows are not connecting with your knees don't worry with consistency you'll get better okay our last exercise the mountain climbers i love this workout because it's also a total body workout now the common mistake is this there are two common mistakes. It's either they are doing this or they are doing this. Now, first of all, first things first. You see any exercise that has to do with that has to do with you being in this position. Always make sure your wrist is in is in line with your shoulders. Same goes for plank or push ups. Always make sure your wrists are in line with your shoulders. My wife just on his laptop, so sorry for that background noise. But as I was saying. If your wrist straight forward, you're not doing it, please. You're going to enjoy yourself. If it's too backward, it's even worse. Because you're putting too much pressure on the wrist. So make sure you bring them in line. That is one. And then, you see this? Straight line from your spine to your tailbone. So don't go like this. Mm -mm. It's not that word, dog. And don't do like this either. It is not upward, dog. We're doing mountain climbers. So zip the abs up. Zip, zip, like tightly. And then bring everything in line. And then you just bring your knee to your chest. Okay? Now, one thing that happens with this exercise is that as you continue, you tend to get tired or forget because, like, this is too much. Before you know, you start breathing. Every time you remember, just do this. You see how I'm doing? Just hinge forward a little. And then you're back in position. Always remember, hinge forward a little. A little. And you are. Whew, back in position so those are the five workouts that 
for abs. My God, see how I'm sweating, Jesus. Those are the five workouts that for abs that people normally make too much, too many mistakes in, or that I've seen lots of mistakes being made when performing them. So very soon in my next video, I'll be talking about common mistakes people make when performing glutes workout. But let's stop here for now because I'm sweating too much. Now remember what I said earlier, form always is better than speed. Don't think of I want to do 30 within 30 seconds. Think of how well can I feel or how much will I feel the intensity in that 30 seconds. You want to work your abs and actually feel pain in the abs when you're done. You want to do exercises for glutes and actually feel pain on those glutes. If you finish working out on your abs and are feeling pain on your arms, nah, something is wrong somewhere. First feel the pain on your abs and maybe just feel small pain in your arm because they also attributed to the workout. You understand? But those are the five exercises. Don't forget to leave your comments in the comment section. If you have any other workout you want me to explain or talk about, I'm here for you. And that's it, guys. Thank you so much for giving me your time. I hope this video was educating and enlightening. Don't forget to like, share with your friend. And please, if you are not yet subscribed, please subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. But till then, stay safe. Bye. -bye.